Hello and welcome to BOI Weekly. I'm Kaya Dialayadi. Today on the show, we have quite a number of items to share with you about what the Bank of Industry has been up to lately and some of the businesses that have been supported in recent times. Just recently, the Bank of Industry hosted a customer engagement forum with its development partners and other stakeholders under the CBN Power and Aviation Intervention Fund, aid, as well as the restructuring and refinancing of facilities to MSMEs in the manufacturing space. Also on the program, we'll bring you the impact of the Bank of Industries intervention at Franklin Marble Limited, an indigenous marble production company. And before we left the Southeast, we spent some time with the Bank of Industries regional manager there, Mr. Obara Osa, who spoke to us about the Bank of Industries strategic interventions and partnership in the region. Stay close for details. In the wake of the global financial crisis in 2010, the federal government of Nigeria through the Central Bank of Nigeria approved the sum of 335 billion debenture stock to lubricate the real sector of the Nigerian economy. Of the bunch, 300 billion naira was reserved for the Power and Airline Intervention Fund, PAVE, while 200 billion naira was set aside for the refinancing and restructuring of SME and manufacturing portfolios. Being the managing agent responsible for the day-to-day -day administration of the fund, the Bank of Industry recently hosted a forum comprising other stakeholders in the intervention group, like the Central Bank of Nigeria, Africa Alliance Corporation and other deposit money banks. The purpose of this forum is to appraise the execution and progress of the fund, network and obtain feedback with the aim of further deepening SME access to finance in the power, aviation, textile and other key sectors. Representing the managing director, Mr. Kyo Dikbiton, the executive director, Large Enterprises, Mr. Simon Aranonu, sets up the conversation giving a quick report. The intervention funds uh, on the power area has been very successful. Same thing with the one on RRF. Uh, we also have another fund called the Textile Intervention Fund, which is a 50 billion naira fund that uh, Central Bank also asked us to manage. As of today, uh, in the power and aviation fund, uh, an airline fund, as well as the, the RRF, uh, totally 535 billion. The success story is very good. Uh, today we have zero MPL on it, uh, meaning that all the loans, you know, when we pass through all of you, are all performing. For example, in the power and aviation power fund alone, power area of the pay fund, uh, we have finance uh, plants, you know, gas fired power plants uh, that are working, that is contributing 1,374 megawatts to the, nation, to, the, to the nation. And we are talking about um, 59 of them that we have successfully executed. On the aviation side, we have supported working together 10 airlines. Some of them also receive working capital to buy spare parts. Now, coming to RRF, this counting and refinancing facility, the line was 235 billion. Uh, it was at 7%. Uh, then, it was up for up to 15 years. We know the benefit of this. So far, 22 banks participated in this fund. Uh, we have disbursed 381 billion naira for this fund. And again, there is zero MPL. The final one is the textile intervention fund. A 50 billion naira textile intervention fund that was launched by Central Bank of Nigeria, which we are managing. So far, we have disbursed 26 billion out of the 50 billion to textile companies. 
The representative from the Central Bank of Nigeria provides further perspective. Going down the road, as we are monitoring and evaluating these projects, yes, we have provided TBs, we have given bonds, probably ISPO. So which means the bank can easily do what? Repay. Repay. But then what about the project? Is the project doing well? Is it meeting the objectives? So that's where we are now. So going, looking at what is happening, we now thought probably the working capital aspect should be looked into. So that when we provide those funds, they should be able to continue being in business and indeed be repaying these funds to enable you remit to CBN their um, VOI. So actually that's where we are now as for the issue of going forward on this. We have already started uh, developing the paper. We pray that it will get the nod of the top management so that we can now run with it. So that's basically where we are in respect of the RRF. So this recycling might come in form of working capital. And remember, the conditions for the working capital is supposed to be for one year in the first instance, and then you have to roll over two more times, so three, three years in all, maximum. Some of the participants raised observations and suggestions. The POI came in Central Bank just to give us liquidity, and that's the benefit that we got. Going forward, like she said, we would definitely need some radical solutions to those those projects. We need those projects to really come back to life. So um, the, the funding, as we've heard, will be revoked. We would also like you to look at, let's let's take them again on another round, because we, we, we went through some form of recession in 2010, 2011, CBN came in, 2014, 15, 16. There, there was another recession. So we, we think there's need for another round of revolving those principles. Then we should also add the, the working capital along. So that will, will probably give them a new lease of life. The question raised by our friend from Stalin, you know, the comment about working capital is noted. It's in line with what I had said in my speech before. Uh, about working capital support, the direction we are going now, and also what was re-emphasized by the director from um, Central Bank of Nigeria Development Finance Division, who also explained the need for us to now go the extra mile after providing the equipment to be able to now provide working capital. Uh, you know, we, we, we've noted what you said. And definitely we will be giving more emphasis on working capital, you know, since we've all passed through the route of, of um, you know, providing equipment and assisting in restructuring.